In this video, you're going to learn my top tips for being more confident in front of the camera. My name is Kevin Mendoza, and I help business owners and entrepreneurs utilize video so they can build their online brands and create business opportunities. So if you're looking to create videos for your marketing, subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials just like this one. started making content for YouTube and my business, I admit I was not comfortable in front of the camera. In fact, I was extremely shy and awkward. Okay, so I'm still new to the camera game, but I'm doing as much as I can to learn everything that I can to become better at videography. So here's what I learned so far in terms of camera settings for optimal lighting. Painful to watch, ain't it? That was over two years ago, and when you compare that to my most recent content, I believe much progress has been made. I think camera shyness is a very common problem. Not everyone is born with the skills or talent to speak confidently in front of the camera. But I do believe it is something that can be developed over time and with a lot of practice. So here are my top beginner tips for being confident on camera. Number one, start right now. The single most important piece of advice I could give you today in this video is to start right now or until after you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Like most things we want to accomplish but seem too daunting, we put off until later or until we're ready. The problem is later or until ready don't really have any metrics by which to measure them. Like when is later or what does ready look like? If you plan to start at some point, it might as well be right now. In my experience, building confidence in front of the camera takes time. And if you wanna make videos in the near future, the sooner you start, the better off you'll be. So what does start right now look like? Well, you can do something as simple as talking to your Facebook or Instagram followers through stories. Most of your followers are likely to be your friends anyway, so you really shouldn't feel too uncomfortable about this. Just have the camera facing you and narrate what you're doing and why you're doing it. So I'm making a YouTube video right now on how to be confident in front of the camera. So if you have been holding back on making video content because you're too camera shy, this next episode is for you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you over there. Peace. And that's it. I suggest speaking to at least a familiar audience because eventually your videos are going to reach public eyes. Personally, I don't really see the point in making video content if you know no one's going to see it. Because then you're really not overcoming your camera shyness if you stay hidden behind your privacy. I mean, come on, let's be real. We're all on our phones all day anyway, so you might as well hop on stories and say hi. As simple as this sounds, you would be shocked at how many people have resistance to this kind of activity. If you're not used to being on camera, that shyness and that resistance will be there. Guaranteed, you will feel uncomfortable. But starting small and more importantly, starting now is going to give you a head start at feeling comfortable with being uncomfortable. Top tip number two, do it frequently. I think it was Zig Ziglar who said repetition is the mother of learning. Do something once and you're sure to forget about it. But do something over and over and over again and it's going to become second nature. What we're trying to develop here is a habit. The habit of being comfortable with the uncomfortable so that way it's second nature. Now I just mentioned that starting right now is going to give you a head start with building confidence in front of the camera. Well, let's say you ignore that and you wait a while before you get started, but you still want to post videos in the same expected time frame. The only way I know to build confidence quickly is to do what challenges you and do it often. So if starting right now is not an option for you procrastinators out there, you can still achieve your goals in a timely manner by working harder in a shorter amount of time. Get in front of the camera as often as you need to to discover your likes, your dislikes, and what works for you. My target frequency is once a week, but again, I started over two years ago and the results have been building for a long time. Had I started only one year ago or even six months ago, I would probably have to increase my frequency twice or thrice per week in order to have the same results I have now. You gotta get your reps in so that way your on-camera confidence could get stronger. Top tip number three, 
organization. While the first two tips were on building actual confidence in front of the camera, this next tip on organization is kind of a shortcut to give the impression of confidence. And by organization, I mean organizing your thoughts and ideas with either a script or an outline. Having some sort of structure and flow to your video will make it sound like you know what you're talking about. Take this very video for example. I've only been talking about my experiences with getting comfortable in front of the camera, but because of how I'm delivering the information in an organized manner, I sound like I'm an authority on the subject. When in reality, I'm just a freelance camera guy talking to himself in his apartment. Outlining your thoughts gives you a little freedom when delivering your ideas on camera. Referring to just the main bullet points you have written on paper allows you to deliver the information in a more natural way. Whereas having a script confines you to say exactly what's written down word for word. Outlining also has potential for less prep work. Because if all you're writing down are the main bullet points of what you want to say, the battle is mostly won in a few minutes. As opposed to typing out a script which could take hours or even days depending on how in-depth you want to go. While I'd like to think I know what I'm going to say by referencing from a bullet point on an outline, I've discovered through time and repetition that I don't do very well freestyling what I want to say. I prefer to have exactly what I'm going to say written out and laid out for me. This way, my mind has to work less to create lines to deliver on camera and instead only has to recite what's already written down for me. In my opinion, scripting does take a while because you have to write down word for word exactly what you're going to say, but it's how I get the best results. These three tips are how I started to put myself in front of the camera, speak confidently without missing a beat, and sound like I actually know what I'm talking about. If you found this video helpful, you might really enjoy my last video. Click right here to check it out. I'll see you over there. Peace.